Alright, got some fast guys out on course right now. Tom Kamen coming around the finish line. Yeah, he was pushing before. Come on, don't blow it now. Jeez, okay, 46 seven. I think he had some more time. Alright, 46 seven for Tom. And Mr. Riker. Mr. Fastest lap of the day yesterday. Sitting in third overall. First in class. Fastest classic muscle on the property, but he needs about a tenth and a half to take over the fastest lap of the day. Four. Oh, yeah. His fastest to this point was a 46 001. So just found another three tenths. Alright, so the three main guys, you, Dupree, and Barry, what's happening here? Who's still gotta run? Alright, so I'm ahead of the law. I think Scott's there's a, there's like five guys that could honestly have the ability to get top time of day of this group today. Oh yeah, Speedwack. Yeah, Scott Speedwack, I think he's out there now. I think he's going group four. Technically, Tom Cam in six is also pulling up, I see right now. Um, Tom Barry is second right now overall, and he doesn't run until group 10. we got to wait all the way to the end of the day to see if the lead holds. Matt Ramirez is also killing it today. He's third uh, overall for fastest time of the day, so I'm a 45-7. I'm a, uh, Tom Barry's a 45-8. Matt Ramirez is a 45-9. And I happen to watch the ski whack or uh, Robert Dupree has been running dirty a lot, so I think he's down the list, but it's, it's hard to say for him to knock it out of the park. It's a lot of foes, so if he can clean that up, you know, he ran a bunch of low 46s earlier. So, yeah, All right. it ain't over. All the pressure's on you now to raise I mean, that bar. My advantage is the track's cooling off. So, it's going to be that much harder for anybody, me included, to go faster than we did in our second when it was warmer. It's not cold by any means, so I'm sure people will be able to pull it off, but we are on the down slope of temperatures. So I'm kind of like, yeah, where's the clouds at? Let's just, I'm praying for rain. <laughs> right on, brother. Well, good luck, All man. Right. Raise that bar a little. I really think the Chad's getting the hang of this car. This is the third NMCA event in a row, I believe he's ran it. Clean so far. Knock on wood. That's the GT3 RS that you're hearing behind me with Chad Sage behind the wheel. Gosh, Chad's got that line dialed. Okay, another good lap right here. Coming through. Oh! <laughs> 45, 4, 3, 1. Just knocked another three tenths off of it after he said that the track was going away. Just wanted to let you know that the track isn't going away. Apparently not. <laughs> it was all right. I, I got nothing, dude. That that was an amazing. Everywhere lap. looked good. Yeah. All right. So, Glory lap, then, dude. All right. We're gonna go for broke. Put all the pressure on Tom. Let him deal with it. Right. Right. Right on, man. Good job, dude. Thanks. going back and forth but damn I know the big boss has got a big smile on his face because in the battle of the Mustangs versus the Camaros there was a 67 fastback Mustang driven by Chad Riker the, oh yeah yes really a 45.4 we were standing out here watching him and when he came across the line 
I mean, the hair was standing up on my arms. That was some exciting stuff. A great lap and the fastest lap of the weekend by far. Congratulations, sir. Two in a row for you. Well deserved. I will help you out here. All right. Taking off the cover of the Delphi. And one. There's two. And there's. All right. There's, there's the winner code. Nicely done. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah.